U.S. President George W. Bush and Russian President Vladimir Putin have failed to overcome sharp differences over a U.S. missile defense system. Meeting in the Russian resort town of Sochi, the two leaders exchanged warm words but made no progress on the issue that has been a sticking point in their relationship for the past seven years. Russia has long been upset over the U.S.'s plans to build a missile defense shield in Poland and the Czech Republic. Although the U.S. says the shield is designed to protect Europe from Middle Eastern missiles, Moscow has accused Washington of targeting the shield at Russia. Что может убедить Россию в том, что эта система не направлена против нашей страны? Отмечу несколько элементов. Первое. Самое лучшее – это совместная работа над глобальной ПРО с равным демократическим доступом к ее управлению. President Bush blamed lingering Cold War thinking for making it harder to reach an agreement on missile defense. We spent a lot of time uh, in our relationship trying to get rid of the Cold War. Uh, it's over. It ended. And the fundamental question in this relationship is, you know, could we work together to put the Cold War in the past? And I fully recognize there are people in, you know, in America and in Russia that, you know, think the Cold War still exists. And sometimes that makes relations difficult. At a news conference, Bush bristled at a journalist's question that implied the two leaders were merely kicking the can down the road on missile defense. You can cynically say it's kicking the can down the road. I don't appreciate that because this is an important part of my belief that is necessary to protect ourselves. Despite the impasse, the two leaders agreed they would work together closely on difficult issues. Relations are also strained over Washington's push for an eastward expansion of NATO into former Soviet republics. This will mark the last time that the two will meet as leaders of their respective countries. Putin's hand-picked successor, Dmitry Medvedev, will take the office of president on May 7th.